It's not only humans that profit from exercise, most fish also benefit from regular training. Researcher Ariane Palstra shows that a swimming fish is healthier, more muscular and more resilient to stress. We have done uh, swimming trials with uh, yellow-tailed kingfish. What we found was that in, in already three weeks of swimming at the optimal swim speed, we see a significant improvement of the growth. Uh, fish that swam, they were longer and 50% heavier than the fish that were not swimming. Well, that's because they are, they are building muscle. Uh, they're really bodybuilders. The researchers believe that swimming at a specific optimal speed leads to beneficial physiological effects for the fish. Swimming slower leads to aggression. Swimming faster is wearing fish out. The scientists are trying to determine the best training schedule for different fish species. So we're standing here next to a 4,000 litre swim flume. We have the uh, propeller that's uh, driven by a motor. The current goes through the outer curve. Here we have a group of sea bream that are swimming against the current. And here we have a group of resting sea bream. So by swimming uh, the fish like this, in a setup like this, we can determine the exact effects of swimming against the flow. Having fish swim at optimal speed may not only benefit the animal, it also seems beneficial for the fish farmer. Aquaculture is the fastest growing form of food production in the world. It's a relatively young industry, so there is a lot of room for improvement. What we see is that resting fish have much more visceral fat, so uh, actually they become obese. And uh, of course when you slaughter the fish, you cut out the organs and the fat and you throw it away, so that's a waste of energy input. While uh, swimming fish, they build muscle and this muscle is uh, actually your fillet that ends up uh, on your plate and that's uh, the product, so you will create more product by exercising fish. Palstra leads a network of scientists from 22 European countries to transfer the knowledge from scientific experiments to technologies that fish farms can use to produce fitter fish. Well, what we're dealing with is actually a win-win-win situation. The fish will win because the uh, welfare of the fish will be increased. You get a more robust and fitter fish. A producer will benefit because uh, growth will be stimulated as well as uh, the health of the fish. And also, of course, the consumer who will benefit from a much better quality uh, feeling.